concert. Thank you for being here tonight to celebrate and support us in our musical achievements. But before we begin, please silence your cell phones and any other noise-making devices. Extra noises tend to distract the performers, performers and audience members. You are welcome to take pictures throughout the concert. Make sure you are considerate of those who are around you. This concert is being live streamed via Zoom for those who cannot be here in person. Keep in mind that it is being recorded and be aware of the cameras that are set up. Thank, Thank you, you for joining us this evening. Hope you enjoy the show. Hello, our first song tonight will showcase our sixth grade beginners. They had an unusual challenge this year of learning to hold and play their instruments through virtual classes back, back in September and October. What a crazy year it has been. We are very proud of the work they have done to get where they are today. The composer, Brian Baumagas, is an award-winning composer, conductor, producer and performer. Please welcome Caroline Bryson to the podium to conduct the orchestra. school for more than 12 years now. Through this program, we invited local artists to work with our students in developing their art. In 2015, we invited Dr. Richard Goodwin to collaborate with our students and compose our very own alma mater. He first worked with ELA classes and writing poetry about our school and its environment. Then he worked with our gifted, identified musician to compose the music along with the poem. The piece transformed into a song that the chorus, orchestra, and band could all perform together. Please welcome Ms. Trimpies to the podium for the BMS alma mater.
chat a little bit so I can put a little pause in here. These concerts always, now that we've had to break everything apart, I'm like, oh, it's gonna be like so fast. I'm like, let's slow down a little bit. Enjoy it a little bit, right? So uh, the alma mater was just the seventh and eighth graders. It is in, um, it, it is in a key in which the chorus the band and the orchestra can all eventually play it together. So my, my plan with this is to be able to bring the alma mater back into our school, really get that tradition down so that eventually everybody knows the lyrics to it. So um, I'm really excited about that one. It was a fun, I was here back in 2015 when they put it together, and yeah, I think that it's a really good thing to have in our school, especially now when we really need to feel like more of like a family again. So that's why we're dreaded, bringing that one back. So, um, the next piece is a fun one. We're going to have our sixth graders stand up for this one. So this is one that uh, we've been working on for a little while, and we actually played it last year too, didn't we? Yeah, the last time, the seventh graders in here, raise your hand, seventh graders. This is only their second time in a concert. So I was like, what? So, <laughs> It's, yeah, it's only their second time playing in a concert, even though this is normally would have been their fourth concert at this point, um, because we, our first concert was in November of 2019, which was their first concert. And then we were about to have a concert, and then everybody went, everything, you know what I mean? So last year, it was the, we were supposed to have it this week, and then everything got canceled. We were gonna go Carowinds last year, so I'm hoping that next year, or maybe the year after we'll see, we're, we're hoping to eventually get together so we can go to Atlanta again. So that's our, our goal is to be able to perform in Atlanta. Perform, I would love for the, to see the orchestra playing in the, in the aquarium in Atlanta. How cool would that be? Play some, or, some ocean music next to the aquarium. Wouldn't that be cool? That'd be fun. Anyways, so uh, this group, um, uh, the eighth graders, this is their second year with me. They started out with another teacher, and I am very, very proud of them. They've really grown up a lot in the last two years that I've known them, so I'm really excited for them. Um, but yeah, so let's start off with Twinkle Twinkle. Who's my first? The next piece you're performing is one that everyone will recognize. Tinkle Tinkle Little Star is a melody originally composed by Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. It has been transformed over the years into many nursery songs, such as the ABCs. This particular version was arranged by Miss Trippy to include multiple variations that we can all play together. The six graders will be featured in this song as they start with the melody and pass it to the seventh and eighth graders for their first variation. We hope you enjoy this arrangement of Tinkle Tinkle. Please welcome Joshua to the podium to conduct the orchestra.
final song this evening is High Hopes by the American pop rock band Panic at the Disco. According to the band's website, this particular song was written while they were sitting in a hot tub at Camp Aspen. It was arranged for string orchestra by Doug Adams, who is an American composer and music teacher. Thank you for listening today. We hope you enjoyed our performance. At the end of the concert, please exit the door to your left. Please keep six feet apart from others as you're leaving the building and wait for your student outside. Thank you. in June, okay, so we're going to have one more concert in June, really excited about it, hopefully back in June we'll be able to have a few more people, have a few more, um, uh, be able to have a few more audience and all of that, so we will hopefully be getting together again, audience members, we're going to exit through this door over here, um, we are going to put some things away, we need to put our chairs and stands away, and we also need to help with the drum set too, okay. So, we're going to put our stuff away and we'll meet you guys outside. Thank you so much for being here and for supporting us. Thank you.